This is your WMDX Daily News Roundup for Mad Radio 92.7 FM and 1580 AM in Madison. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Now that Super Tuesday is over, the presidential candidates are shifting focus to Wisconsin in the general election. Vice President Kamala Harris is in Wisconsin today. Harris and Labor Secretary Julie Su are in Madison talking about workers' rights, union jobs, and the economy. A new report finds people are almost as likely to find a good-paying job in rural areas as urban ones. Georgetown University's Martin Vanderwerf says it's a matter of training people for the right jobs. There ought to be just closer ties between the labor force and educators so that we are actually educating people for the jobs that actually exist rather than jobs we wish would exist. Vanderwerf says some industries are better suited for growth in the country. If you're going to build a solar array or a wind farm, you got to do it in a rural area. And when that happens, what kinds of jobs are needed to support it? And all that sort of thing could really help rural areas. A Georgetown study finds rural Americans had a 50 percent chance at a good paying job compared to 54 percent in urban areas. Nursing instructors are pushing back against efforts to set up a for-profit nursing school in Wisconsin. The Arizona College of Nursing is being sued in other states for alleged predatory practices. Barbara Nichols is with the Wisconsin Center for Nursing. She says students should seek out established accredited schools. Those schools that provide theory in terms of online and then make sure they have good clinical placements. Wisconsin is dealing with a shortage of registered nurses. More veterans might someday qualify for free tuition at Wisconsin State Universities. Vets have to live in Wisconsin for five years to qualify for tuition reimbursement. A bill getting a hearing today would cut that time to three years. Veterans and their families can qualify for up to eight free semesters at state universities or technical colleges. The combined reward in the case of Elijah Vu is now up to $25,000. Manitowoc County Crime Stoppers is offering as much as $10,000, while the FBI is offering fifteen grand. The three-year-old from Two Rivers has been missing for two weeks. His mother and her boyfriend are charged with child neglect. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WMDX News, I'm Nate Wuggy Hout. You might see multiple referendums asking to raise your own taxes on the ballot this fall as both the city of Madison and the Madison School District are considering going to referendums to make up for budget shortfalls. The city of Madison faces a $27 million deficit for next year's budget. The school district is facing similar challenges with their budget. Neither entity have given the final go-ahead on going to the voters and the school board plans to vote on whether or not to place referendums on the ballot in May. Be sure to lock up your bike as Madison police are warning that bike thefts are on the rise. Last month, there were 44 bikes stolen across Madison. That's more than double the amount of stolen bikes in February of last year. Police say the easiest way to keep your bike from being stolen is to keep it locked up whenever you aren't using it. If your bike has been stolen, be sure to report it to the police immediately. Employees of the Middleton Cross Plains School District have new health care options with the new on-campus clinic. The new clinic at West Middleton Elementary School opened on Monday and serves school employees and families on the district's insurance plan. It's being run with the help of SSM Health at Work and offers everything from long-term care to acute needs and offers same-day appointments. District officials say that many employees are already taking advantage of the new service. Edgewood College is teaming up with the Wisconsin National Guard to help Guard members earn their state teaching licenses at a discounted rate. The online program launches this spring and will let Guard members and their spouses earn both a master's degree and teaching license for half the cost. Guard members will be able to choose from three specialties, including elementary, secondary, and special education. The program can be completed in just one year instead of the usual two years it takes to earn a license. The Dane County Regional Airport is looking for security officers and is holding a hiring event this Friday for anyone interested in the job. The event is this Friday at the Doubletree by Hilton, Madison East. Interested applicants can learn more about both full and part-time positions at the airport and can even complete some steps of the hiring process. You should register in advance and you'll need to bring two forms of valid federal or state government ID with you to the event. Kids from low-income families will still be able to hit the baseball diamond this summer 
summer as the Black Men Coalition of Dane County gets ready to kick off their free youth baseball league. This will be their third year hosting the league. Throughout March, the nonprofit is encouraging boys and girls ages 4 to 12 from all backgrounds to sign up. They say that it's important that all kids have access to sports, regardless of race, sex, or economic situation. If you're looking to take family portraits this spring, the Madison Public Library has you covered. They're offering free photography sessions for families throughout the next two months. You'll have to reserve a spot, and each session with a professional photographer takes about 10 minutes. The portraits are for personal use only, and you shouldn't bring props with you. The next family portrait event is Saturday, March 16th. And that's what you need to know. I'm Nate Wuggiehau, WMDX News. Sunny this morning. We will see a few more clouds rolling in by later this afternoon, but still a nice day with a high right around 50 today. The wind out of the east at 5 to 15. Tonight, mostly cloudy, 33. Tomorrow, we'll see a little sun, but overall mostly cloudy, 51, with rain likely tomorrow night and Friday. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 33. Bucks headed to the West Coast. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Bucks packing their bags for a long four-game road trip. Milwaukee now doing a better job of passing the ball around to find the open shot. Bobby Portis. Doc's been emphasizing that all since he's been here since January. Is You might have a good shot here, but that extra pass could just lead to a better open shot for the team. We've been d- making a lot of those reads. After, actually, like you might not get an assist, but you might get a hockey assist out of it. College basketball, a big night for Marquette as they host number two ranked UConn in Milwaukee on senior night. The Badgers play Rutgers Thursday. Iowa's Caitlin Clark named the best player in the Big Ten. Baseball, the Brewers and the Giants had 29 combined hits, but the Giants won 13-8 over Milwaukee. Reese Hoskins got his first home run as a Brewer. You're just hoping for the right match with the team that will show up eventually, and in my eyes it did with the Brewers. NBA, the Bucks have won six in a row now since the All-Star break. You know, guys just talking, communicating, um, doing what the coach asked of us. Um, we drill things and drill them and drill them, and it's been like muscle memory for us now to go out there and you can plug and play guys and, you know, the thing, our, our system still looks the same no matter who's out there. That's the Bucks' Bobby Portis with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. I'm Pete with the 60-second Showbiz Beat. If you can't get enough of the NCIS conglomerate, this will make you happy. Deadline.com reports that NCIS Origins, yes, it's a prequel, was given the straight-to-series green light. Austin Stowell will play a young Gibbs on the new CBS show. The more familiar Gibbs, Mark Harmon, will provide narration to the series, which will be set in 1991. Origins is one of the two new shows rolling out from the NCIS ever-growing franchise, discussing that this might have to be the last NCIS because thanks to the military court franchise, we are running out of actors. Up for some more real TV housewives? Me neither. That's not going to stop Bravo from rolling out season two of the real TV housewives, Dubai. For those of you who had no idea there was even a season one, Bravo has announced season two will air in June of this year. The real housewives have had dozens of spinoffs locally and internationally. Personally, I refuse to watch until Wisconsin is represented. Who wouldn't want to watch the real housewives of Oconomowoc? So, you want to be famous? Talk to Kate Winslet first. The actress says she disliked being famous so much after Titanic in 1997 that she opted for smaller projects. The 48-year-old Oscar winner told People magazine the press was everywhere to the point where she wasn't enjoying life. On the bright side, we got to watch Winslet in Mayor of Easttown. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Gwyneth Paltrow wants you to know that she has black women friends. People Magazine reports Paltrow was recently interviewed by Dr. Ella Bell and said that white women, who she apparently represents universally, have a lot to learn from black women. Using the phrase, my black women friends, a suspicious amount of times, the Shakespeare in Love actress says her black women friends are better at lifting each other up than her white women friends, adding that they would be more likely to cheer her up. Gwyneth Paltrow needs cheering up? I'm sure black women everywhere are lining up to cheer up old Gwynny. Ready for more award show news? I thought so. The NAACP has announced Queen Latifah will take the mic again this year and host the 55th Annual Image Awards. 
The star of The Equalizer hosted last year's event as well. Latifah is no stranger to awards, having taken home a Grammy and an Emmy in her career. She was also Oscar-nominated for her supporting role in the movie Chicago. The Image Awards will be held March 16th and will air on both BET and CBS. If you haven't been called about being a presenter at this year's Oscars, you might be the only one. The Hollywood Reporter says Ryan Gosling and Ariana Grande have been chosen as the final presenters for this year's Academy Awards, rounding out a very long list. Steven Spielberg, Emily Blunt, and Forrest Whitaker were also announced recently to hand out awards at this year's event. I've heard of that Spielberg guy. He's really starting to hit his stride as a director. For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, every night between 7 and 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. That's your WMDX Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at mad.radio.